We just pushed some awesome updates for your job dashboards and your customer and vendor portals. Let's take a look. Now when you create a new job in JobTread, you're going to be shown a suggested contact based on the primary contact from your customer account. So you can go ahead and choose to add them to the job. And then you have the options to call them, you can message them directly, and also you can choose to share that contact's information with your vendors for the job. There are additional options here in your contact menu, even the ability to change that customer role and give them a bit more access within their portal. Now let's take a look at a job that we've already kind of worked on. So I'm going to go navigate to a new job. Here it is. And here's a job that we're midway through the project. Other things that you can notice on this job dashboard, one is that you can edit your custom fields now, one at a time, to make it a little easier and then you have a little less opportunity for error and editing multiple at the same time. Down here you have your job access list which is separated by role and then as you can see you have options to see the contact information for all of the members on this list and then also you can choose to show or hide that contact information on your customer and vendor portals. So if I'd like to share this estimator's information with my customers, all I need to do is click on this little people button. But maybe I want to share my estimator's information also with my vendors so I can click on the truck icon here. Now it will put that contact on your external portals so they can be contacted directly. Additionally, if you needed to assign some of your internal users to a job, you can go ahead and just click this plus button and it will add your, let's say your project manager to the job. And now you're going to see them up here on your internal list. If they're not listed on the access list already, you can just click plus user and then add any internal and external user to the job as well. Now it could get cumbersome to go in and select each individual contact to share with your customer or with your vendor for every single job. So now in your settings, if you go to the roles tab, you'll be able to select defaults for each role, whether or not their contact information is shared with the external portals. So let's take a look at the customer portal now. If I click on the three dots next to the customer and choose preview as user, I can preview what their portal looks like. So now there are a few changes to the portal. The first change is the overall UI. We've made sure that we are making your logo more prominent and also we are simplifying how the user sees the screen. Now, if the user only is assigned to one job in JobTread, this main navigation on your left-hand side will not be visible. It will only show the one job's information. But on, in this case, this customer has multiple jobs that we've worked on with them, so therefore they can navigate between the multiple jobs using the main navigation. Also, you can choose whether or not you'd like to show your financial summary to the customer. This selection is made in the customer roles in your job tread settings. You also have action items which show any upcoming um, due documents as well as any tasks that are upcoming. And then of course we're seeing now all the contacts that we've chosen to share with that customer. They also have the ability to call or message any of those contacts. So let's say they want to message a couple of the contacts they can go ahead and just select multiple contacts to then add to their messaging field and then they can type in the message. Or now your customers and vendors can put the at symbol and message anyone on that contact list as well. We hope that these updates give you a stronger impression with your customers and your vendors and also help keep everyone's communication in sync. If you have any questions, contact your customer success manager or email support at jobtread.com and we'll be sure to help.